Today on Styrene Modeler's Haven. So you want to try your first weathering technique? You got it, let's go old school. Mixing up a pin wash with off-the-shelf cheap oil paints. If you build models long enough, at some point you might decide you want to try your hand at weathering those builds. But with so many weathering techniques and so many weathering products out there, it can be quite daunting on where to start. As your first weathering technique, one of the easiest ones to attempt is a simple pin wash. A basic pin wash will highlight all the finer details and panel lines on your model build. There are a lot of great products out there that you can use for doing a panel line pin wash, but I'm a bit old school as I've been building models for over 40 years, and the first time I did a pin wash, I used basic oil paints found at a craft store. An oil paint set is relatively inexpensive, and you can mix up any colors that you want or use the colors straight out of the tubes. Whether using oil paints or some of the branded products, most of these items are enamel based. This means that you're going to have to protect your model finish with something that won't react to enamel thinners. Using a lacquer or an acrylic gloss clear coat will protect your model finish and give the surface the smoothness it needs to allow that pin wash to flow in and around all the panel lines and details. By using a lacquer or acrylic gloss clear, this won't react with the enamel or oil paints since it's a completely different chemical structure. Once you've applied your gloss protective clear coat and given it the necessary time to completely cure, it's time to mix up your basic oil wash. It can be hard to decide when you're new to this as to what color to mix for your first wash, but a basic simple place to start is with a dark brown color. You don't want to use black as it's too harsh and is going to make the details stand out way too much and look toy-like. When new, I always recommend that you just start with burnt umber mixed with a little bit of black to get it a little bit darker. When using basic oil paints, all you're going to need is a small mixing cup, something to stir everything up with, and clean mineral spirits paint thinner. You want to mix your pin wash to 80 or 90% thinner to oil paint ratio. You want to make your pin wash very, very thin. To apply a pin wash, all you need is a nice pointy brush. If I'm not sure how the results are going to look when applying the pin wash, I always start at the bottom of the model or some part of the model that isn't going to be seen very easily or at all. And don't worry, if you don't like the results or you want to change the color, you can easily wipe everything away without disturbing the underlying finish. Now unlike a sludge wash where you would take a wider, larger brush and just spread that very thin oil paint all over the model in a sludge fashion, a pin wash is much more controlled. Using capillary action, you're just going to touch the areas that you want the wash to flow into. Panel line detail, rivets, and any other details where you want the wash to flow. As you apply your wash, you're going to notice that your mixture is going to start to settle and the paint and mica pigments are actually going to fall to the bottom of the mixing cup. So don't forget to stir that cup a little bit every now and again just to remix everything back together again. Work in sections and you can always time those sections to the amount of bench time you're going to have at one sitting. Let the pin wash dry for between 10 and 30 minutes. You'll notice that as the pin wash dries, it loses its glossy look. This is a good telltale sign to let you know that the thinner has evaporated and left the paint behind. In order to get rid of all those little dots where you touched your brush onto the model, depending on how grimy you want that wash to look, you can just simply take a dry paper towel and start to smear or wipe the excess wash away. For aircraft, you typically want to go in the direction of the airflow so that any remaining streaks will actually look like they were created from the airplane flying. 
If you want to remove more of the wash and just leave a little bit in the panel lines and around all the details, you simply add a little bit of clean paint thinner to a paper towel or a clean cloth. The paper towel or the cloth should just barely be moist with the thinner. If it's too wet, it's going to pull all the pin wash out of the details. Using a very light touch, wipe away the dots and any other parts of the pin wash you don't want remaining. You can also do the same thing by lightly dampening a Q-tip. Take that Q-tip, dampen it onto a cloth or paper towel, and then you can wipe in the harder to reach areas of the model. You can always apply a pin wash a second or third time if you want to increase how much color there is in and around your details or if you pulled away a little bit too much of the pin wash when you wiped it away. If you need a little bit of control over removing some of that excess pin wash or you're just trying to get into the nooks and crannies of the build, you can soak a paintbrush in paint thinner and be able to just kind of spread out the excess paint thinner and sop it up with the paintbrush itself. By applying this simple weathering technique on your next build, you can really make all those fine details pop. It works with just about any genre of model build. And don't forget to try different colors based on the color of your model. For example, you'd want to use a darker gray on a lighter gray surface. Since you can easily wipe away anything you don't like, don't be afraid to experiment. I've provided links in the description of the products used in this video. If you'd like to support my channel, when you click on any of those links and make a purchase, I get paid a small commission at no cost to you, so thank you. Do me a huge favor, like and subscribe to the channel so I can get a little bit of a boost in the YouTube algorithm, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos on different how-tos and techniques on scale modeling. I've got some great videos on choosing your first airbrush, painting checkers, and even drilling out exhausts. You can even find out how I got this natural metal finish on this B-17. Don't just stash those models, keep building, and thanks for watching.